Hi everyone, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. This was a good week. It was one of those weeks where I felt like I accomplished everything that I set out to accomplish and then some. Every day I worked eight to 10 hours. Every day I went to bed tired and I felt satisfied that I got through the day. Except for Wednesday. Wednesday was a tough day. Wednesday was an emotionally tough day. I came home, I was exhausted, and I ended up just going to bed right away. Other than Wednesday though, I felt like I'm finally getting into some kind of groove in my new home, in my new work. I'm understanding kind of what my days look like, even though every day is slightly different. I was able for the most part to stick to my plan, which was simply counting calories, which if you guys have been following me, I, <laughs> I absolutely hate counting calories. I hate writing things down. I hate putting them in my phone. I don't like keeping track on my fitness pal. I just find it tedious, which is why I preferred keto over the summer. Starting to think that keto might be for me only because of its simplicity. I haven't fully decided whether or not I'm gonna go back on keto anytime soon, but it's there, I'm thinking about it. The cool things about this week is I actually had time to exercise. I will say though that every single day I'm doing more than 10,000 steps. My job requires me to be on my feet a lot. I'm actually closing that one stupid like stand ring on the Apple Watch every day, which is pretty cool. Normally I, I never stand enough according to Apple and I'm just like, okay, well, now I'm doing it. Now I'm doing it. So I ended up going for a bike ride on Tuesday and I rode all the way to the beach. And I say all the way to the beach, round trip, that was only about 10 miles, so it's nothing crazy. It's nice that I live so close to the beach. What I loved about it though, is that I got there and because it was Tuesday, it wasn't crowded. So what I'm gonna try to do this upcoming week is wake up extra early on Tuesday and try to get there when the sun comes up. I think it'd be really cool to do some kind of like meditation on the beach, like, you know, be one of those people once a week at least. So I'm gonna try it. That's my thing that I'm doing this upcoming week. Other than that, I went on a couple of walks uh, over the weekend. I did about a five mile walk on Saturday and then I did another five mile walk um, this morning actually. So exercise, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of getting into the groove. I, I'm still getting used to, again, the new life, the new routine. I love my job. I, I'm excited for the day when I actually can interact with people without wearing a mask and without feeling like, you know, I'm spreading this horrible virus and they're spreading it to me. And there's just a lot of like paranoia right now. There's a lot of anxiety. You just feel it when you go out and you try to be normal. Like there is no normal. I actually went to a coffee shop thinking that, oh, this is so great. I live so close to a coffee shop. I can just like, you know, go there every so often and, and do work and stuff. I walk into this coffee shop and nobody is wearing a mask. The guy making the coffee, and he's like 70, is not wearing a mask. And there, it's like this Italian coffee shop and weren't, weren't like Italian people like really, really hardcore about the mask thing in Italy? So anyways, I ended up leaving. I just, I left because I felt so uncomfortable and, and I hate that. I hate that I have to think like that. But because I interact with a lot of people, I am not going to risk somebody's life. Even if it's a tiny, tiny, tiny percent chance that that could happen, I'm not gonna be responsible for putting them into the hospital. So if that means I can't go to this coffee shop until we have a working vaccine, then that's what it means. Sorry, not to, not to get on a high horse here. I'm just, I'm frustrated. It's hard moving to a new place, a new state. It's 10 times harder during this pandemic because I don't, I, I can't do anything. I can't go meet people. I can't, you know, I can socially, yeah. Last night I had dinner with somebody from work and, and we were wearing like our masks the whole time. And it's just, I don't know guys, I'm, I'm over this. I'm so ready for things just to go back to a better normal. I, yeah, so anyways, all that being said, uh, I, so as you guys know, last week I uh, weighed in and I had gained three pounds, which 
I was okay with because I went totally off of keto and I was just kind of like eating whatever I wanted to eat. So this last week I wanted to just try counting calories in, calories out. Try to keep a deficit each day, a deficit of about like 300 calories to 500 calories. Some of the days I was doing accidental intermittent fasting, which I talked about in my last video, just kind of happens that I just, I don't eat for like eight hours and I feel fine. So the results are in and I have lost 1.5 pounds of those three pounds. So I'm still not quite where I was, right? I'm still not beneath 170 but I'm gonna get there. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna be doing this upcoming week and I think I'm just gonna stick with the calories in, calories out because it's working. And then once I get back under 170, I'm going to start maybe implementing another kind of like plan. Might be keto, it might be like a whole foods kind of thing, it might be like take out processed foods. It's just, it, I, I like the idea of having the variety when you do the lower calories. Like you can eat whatever you wanna eat and uh, as long as you know it's in moderation. And then I just feel like it's a, a richer life, like for me. But again, um, I do like how I feel when I'm doing keto. I, I will say that, I feel, I feel great. I feel my energy is really high. I feel like after the keto flu, I feel like I'm not addicted to food. The problem is, is that it does kind of mess with me when I'm not doing keto. So even to this day, if I'm eating something like Ezekiel bread, which is like this whole grain bread, or a potato, or an apple, I still feel like, oh, this is a carb, this is bad, uh, you know, and, and I don't feel like I want to be in that headspace, in that mindset. So. This is a, it's a physical journey, it's a mental journey, it's an emotional journey, we all know that. And uh, I'm on it, and if you're watching this, you're probably on it too. All right, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Love you guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next week for another update.